Hi friends, this is Akhil Reddy. Today I will teach you Selenium. Before going to Selenium, first of all we should know what is manual testing and what is automation testing. Manual testing is nothing but testers do manually without using any automated tools. So that's why that is called manual testing. In manual testing we have some drawbacks. That's why automation came into the market. What do you mean by automation testing? Suresh, tell me, what do you mean by automation testing? Yes, I will tell you. Manual testing is nothing but manually we are doing, with our efforts we are doing, that's why that is called manual testing. Automation testing is nothing but, this is also one of the type of testing, in which all the drawbacks in manual testing are addressed properly and provide speed and accuracy to the existing testing process. Yeah, in automation also we have some advantages. We have some advantages. One is fast, clear, quality, reliable and repeatable and reasonable and programmable. Yeah, fast. Automated tools run tests faster than human user that means manual clear every statement is easy to understand we can easily easily understand each and every statement and quality we can run more tests in less time with quality and next reliable tests perform Previously, the same operations each time we can run and repeatable. We can run the test repeatedly and we can check how software reacts under repeated execution of the same operations and we can run many times in a row without human interaction. Next, reasonable. We can reuse tests on different versions of an application even if it is user interface changed next programmable you can get the hidden information from the application these are the main advantages yeah in automation also we have some drawbacks you know wherever you go still 80 to 90 percent of the company still they are depending upon manual process in manual testing, we have many drawbacks. Still, 80 to 90 percent of the companies still they are depending upon manual process. Why they are depending upon manual process? That means in automation also we have some drawbacks. What are the main drawbacks in automation testing? First drawback, professionals required. First drawback, professionals required. If it is manual testing, we can give the training within the one week and we can take into the project. But if it is automation, some scripting knowledge required right that means professionals required second point tools are very expensive whenever you are comparing with manual testing automation is very costly manual is a cheapest testing process and third drawback very very important to drawback we cannot automate the all the areas using tools also this is the main drawback using automation also we cannot automate the all the areas that means tools has some limitations tools have some limitations okay right next automated tool a yeah, automated tool is nothing but it is an assistant of test engineer a yeah, automated tool is nothing but it is an assistant of test engineer if you want to work with any your particular personal assistant or any automation tool first of all we should know five basic things if you know these things you can work with any automation tool first point how to give the instructions why because the yeah, automation tool is nothing but it is an assistant of test engineer so first of all we need to give the instructions so first point how to give the instructions first point how to give the instructions second point how to give the information third point how to use its recording facility and fourth point how to use its playback facility and last point how to analyze the results if you know these things you can work with any automation tool for example 
my assistant is selenium so i want to work with the selenium i know telugu selenium don't know telugu i know hindi selenium don't know hindi i know english selenium don't know english i know tamil also selenium don't know tamil selenium knows java perl python c sharp and ruby so we need to learn any of the scripting language so before going to learn selenium first of all we need to discuss about types of tools in market we have number of tools available particularly mainly we have some tools functional tools management tools and performance tools first functional tools first tool qtp winrunner rft selenium test partner test complete and test drive and management tools test director quality center jira qtest qa complete next non functional tools that means performance tools load runner and silk and jmeter okay first we will discuss about functional tools functional tools means compulsory we need to perform some actions on the functionality then only we can say that functionality is properly working or not so that means uh, always we will concentrate only on functionality that means we will compulsory we need to perform some actions on the functionality that means the tools are called functional tools mainly we have qtp winrunner rft and selenium first of all what are the main differences between qtp and selenium we will discuss now qtp selenium both are functional tools both are functional tools first qtp qtp developed by mercury people in 1994 and selenium developed by jason aggins in 2004 qtp is a commercial tool this is the main drawback and selenium is a open source tool this is main advantage in selenium in qtp we have recording and playback facility and selenium we don't have recording and playback facility mainly in web driver here we can in qtp we can use only vb script if it is selenium we can use java perl python c sharp and ruby and if it is qtp excellent object identification mechanism mechanism is available here is no object identification concept if it is qtp we can work with window and normal base normal normal window based applications as well as web applications also using selenium we can work with only web application this is the one of the drawback in selenium and we can work with ie browser if it is qtp we can work with ie browser very comfortable but selenium we can work with multi browsers very 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 comfortable these are the main drawbacks in main drawbacks in qtp and main differences between qtp and selenium next selenium selenium is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs simply we can say selenium is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs selenium having four components selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid first of all we will discuss about selenium ide ide is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs this set of programs we need to configure into one user interface in the place of user interface we are using ide only that means ide is a user interface no need to install somewhere okay id is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs this set of programs we need to configure or deploy or delivery we need to deploy into one user interface in the place of user interface we are using ide only that means ide is a user interface main ide have some advantages it is a free software and easy to install and the main feature we have recording and playback facility and we have more advantages like selenium id scripts we can convert into other language like java c sharp 
python and ruby it is not only time saver but also an excellent way of learning scripts syntax we can insert comments and commands also and excellent execution will be super fast whenever you comparing with other tools selenium id execution will be super fast and selenium id we have some drawbacks also selenium id work with only firefox browser we can't write the script manually there is no chance to write the script we cannot upload the files it does not directly support loops and conditions and reading from external files like text files and xls is not possible and using selenium id we can perform very 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 limited testing that's why none of the people not using selenium id nowadays selenium id getting deprecated why because using this selenium id we can perform very very limited testing that's why none of the people none of the companies not encouraging selenium id nowadays selenium id getting deprecated why because using this we can perform very limited testing next they made selenium rc selenium rc same definition selenium rc is not but it is a software which contains some set of programs this set of programs we need to configure into one user interface in the place of user interface we are using eclipse what do you mean by eclipse eclipse is nothing but it is a powerful editor to write the java programs selenium rc also getting deprecated that means none of the people not using selenium rc in selenium rc we have some drawbacks we have some drawbacks there are very limited features in selenium rc when working with ajax based ui elements we need to whenever you want to work with selenium rc we need to and we need to stop the server manually and whenever you want to work with selenium rc we need to start the server manually and we need to stop the server manually and controlling multiple windows is not possible these are the main advantages in selenium rc and after that after that selenium people they made selenium web driver as more powerful whenever you are comparing with selenium rc selenium web driver is more powerful selenium web driver is providing more facilities for automation testing when compared to rc many people using started to using selenium web driver okay wherever you go selenium is nothing but selenium web driver most of the companies and most of the people they are encouraging only selenium web driver only why because selenium whenever you are comparing with selenium rc selenium web driver having some powerful set of programs that's why all the people encouraging only selenium web driver selenium is nothing but that is selenium web driver only next selenium web driver this is the main feature in selenium selenium web driver is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs this set of programs we need to configure into one user interface in the place of user interface we are using eclipse only eclipse is nothing but it is a powerful editor to write the java programs okay whenever you are comparing with selenium rc selenium web driver having some powerful set of programs selenium web driver having some advantages first advantage support for iphone and android testing second point we can implement listeners concept it is a very much awaited feature third point better features for ajax testing and fourth point you can easily simulate it clicking on front and back buttons fifth point you can extract objects in bulk like qtp sixth point like rc you don't have to start a server in web driver seventh point you can simulate movement of a mouse using selenium 
8.0. Using this Selenium web driver, we can easily handle the pop up windows also. And 9th point, you can find coordinates of any object using Selenium web driver. And 10th point, you have classes in web driver which help you to simulate key press events of keyboard. 11th point, keyboard driven framework is very easy to build in web driver and easily simply we can say we can implement to JNUT and testng also these are the main concepts in selenium web driver last one last component in selenium selenium grid grid is nothing but it is a software which contains some set of programs using these programs we can run the test parallelly on multiple machines so what is the use we can increase the performance of the execution main selenium grid advantages we can do remote execution of the selenium tests and selenium grid used to save time by executing independent test cases in parallel third point low testing can be done fourth point execute test cases in parallel to simulate multiple transactions in single window that is the main advantages of selenium grid these are the main features selenium having four components selenium ide selenium rc and selenium web driver and selenium grid uh, remaining concept we will discuss later